Hey guys, in this video we're going to examine um, the three kind of main platforms on which to build your site, like the tools, right? Um, and let's discuss, and we'll discuss uh, pretty much what seems to be the best, right? And by these I mean like, you know, there's the there's WordPress, and WordPress it's on something like like literally like twenty percent of the websites on the entire web have been built with WordPress. So that says everything you need to know almost, right? Um, the other competitor, the second closest competitor is Squarespace. And Squarespace is more of a website where it's you have to have less technical skills, but from my use of it, you get a lot of like, um, e e less flexible, it's far less flexible. And I'll get into the details later, you know, in this video. And then the third thing is something called Weebly, which is another thing that's not that flexible. It's kind of like Squarespace, but it's it's a sort of a number two in that space. So Squarespace and Weebly, they're comparable. And, and Squarespace is number one and Weebly is number two. And the sites that I've seen made with Weebly, they're less good looking usually. Um, so let's go over these. So what WordPress is, um, you get a lot of control um, you get you get a content management system and you get many 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 beautiful themes a lot of them are free a lot some of them even more beautiful ones are paid um, and themes in WordPress world it's the same word it means design and it's really easy to set up a site with WordPress um, it's also easy to get help because there's it's such a gigantic community on the web that there's so many people um, who are setting these up and even I have a tutorial for how to set up a WordPress site in like less than a day and I'll actually have that link a link to it in the description of the video so it's and WordPress you know WordPress itself is free but usually I mean almost across the board on if you're gonna have a website which you really need to pay for and and this is like you know this is almost universal is you need to pay for hosting hosting is that computer on which your sites your files live on that, that those files that get served up when the website People, when people go to your website, right? So you, and you need, you know, basically you need hosting no matter what. If you're on WordPress and if you're on um, Squarespace or Weebly, whatever, you need hosting. So, and hosting is cheap. It's like under, the basic plans are like under $10 a month. And also almost universally, you um, need a domain name. You need to pay for that. But it's also like very, very, very cheap in fact. In the tutorial um, for how to set up a WordPress site, I, I actually show you how to get a free domain name. So it's super cheap, like cheap beyond cheap for what you get. It's so cheap, um, and so WordPress is great. And you know, I was like, a huge percentage of the web is using it. Um, Squarespace, it's kind of like an insular platform. Um, they make it simpler for you to set it up, but if you ever want to move your site off Squarespace, uh, it's very difficult. You have to completely rebuild it because um, it's like everything is within their ecosystem. You have no control of the code or anything even remotely close to, to the technical thing stuff. So they make it kind of simple for you, but uh, and, but it's not flexible at all. And because it's not flexible, you know, if something isn't working right, like. I've seen people struggle with getting their sites to look exactly how they want. Um, and Weebly is another one like that. I mean, they, they also make it simple for you, but it's, you know, I, I haven't seen that many beautiful Weebly sites, so try it, but you know, uh, I think you can get more, it, I think it's slightly cheaper than Squarespace or maybe a lot cheaper, I'm not, I'm not certain, but um, I haven't seen very many beautiful sites made with Weebly and it makes me a little skeptical but I don't want to discount it because I actually haven't had personal experience with it so um, give it a try because um, it might I may be wrong here actually because um, I, I have very limited experience with Weebly uh, but uh, WordPress I use WordPress and it's pretty good I mean look I have no complaints and it's, it's great and um, it's been really easy for me to sometimes when I am stuck to get help because I can get help from either the community online or like tech support for my hosting so it's pretty easy to get help and um, I've never been stuck with it for too long 
Um, so I think, and, and, and even though you need, you don't need squares with square, square space, even though you need don't need technical skills, you if you have technical skills, you can do more with WordPress. But if you don't have technical skills, you can also set up WordPress. You really don't need technical skills with WordPress either. But right now, I mean, it's pretty simple. You know, they keep on evolving that WordPress platform, and at this point, it's very simple to use if you don't have. Um, technical skills, where you may need technical skills if you want to do complex customization. But in most in most websites, you don't need that. You know, if your website is basic or it's, if it's informational or it's basically just a, not a huge robust site, you really don't need a lot of customization. And you can do, a, you can just get a theme, like a design off the shelf and it would be beautiful and perfect. Um, so that's kind of what my thoughts are on what's important between choo when choosing these um, these tools. I, I'm personally a fan of WordPress and second, my choice is Squarespace um, and that, that's what I kind of uh, that recommend.